everybody, it's Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a recipe that I grew up with. Uh, it's really easy to make and it's called sausage and peppers. Uh, super simple, it's really just Italian sausage that is cooked down in a sauce with a whole lot of peppers. Uh, traditionally it's made with bell peppers, but I like to add in a few extra spicy peppers and some seasonings to really kind of spice things up a little bit. I know you're completely shocked. And uh, it's made with Italian sausage, and I like to use hot Italian sausage for that extra deliciousness. But uh, again, it's super easy to make, one of my favorites. So uh, let me show you how to make it. All right, let's make some sausage and peppers. The first thing we need to do is get a uh, medium, uh, probably a large size pan, heat it up to a good medium to medium high heat. And we're adding some olive oil. And uh, I'm gonna add a little more olive oil than I kind of normally do. I'm gonna two to three tablespoons here. I want to get uh, the pan nicely coated. And we'll be adding some Italian sausage. Italian sausage is, uh, is key to this recipe. You want good quality Italian sausage. Um, and the good thing about Italian sausage is you can get different varieties. There's mild and there's sweet and also hot. So I'm using hot Italian sausage, of course, shocker for me. But uh, with Italian sausage, you can use sweet if you want to. The hot has a more spiciness to it. Um, I just one of my favorites, but I love it with sweet as well. And uh, if you don't have uh, Italian sausage or it's harder for you to find, you could make this, make this recipe with other sausages, but, uh, but Italian is absolutely delicious. So uh, we're going to cook this down for about five minutes per side, and, uh, and then we'll continue with the recipe. So, all right. All right, let's flip these guys. Look at that. It's already starting to smell good in here. Mmm. The goal with the sausage here is really just to get a nice brown on them. You don't want to cook them all the way through because we're going to tuck them into the pepper sauce and uh, simmer them for a while. But here we go. Got a nice browning on my sausages and going to cook them a few more minutes, get some nice color on it, and then we will continue. All right, my spicy food loving friends. Got a nice sizzle going on with my sausages here. So I uh, did a few minutes per side. I'm going to get them pulled out of here and just set them onto a plate. Get them over here. You don't want to cook them all the way through. You just want to get a nice browning on them. Set that there. And next we will be cooking down the peppers and onions. So with the peppers, traditionally used, uh, I use bell peppers, uh, more sweet bell peppers. And uh, I'll use a multicolor like green and red or yellow is great to orange. Um, but I also like to use jalapeno peppers with mine. So I've got three average size bell peppers and two big fatty jalapeno peppers. And uh, the, the thing with this recipe is slice them more into strips because we're gonna serve them onto like sandwiches or, or possibly over pasta. Um, you don't wanna chop it up too small. So it's gonna be more sort of like big chunks like this. And uh, you, you don't have to use jalapenos if you don't want to. Um, of course, if you wanna use spicier peppers, you can. Some slight half serranos would be awesome in here. Or, uh, you know, go crazy, my ghost pepper lovers. But uh, this is it. I'm going to cook this down for about 10 minutes to get the peppers nicely softened up, and uh, then we will continue. Okay, also I'm going to add some onions here, guys. These are optional. Um, I prefer it with onion with mine. I just love the taste of, uh, of onion with my sausage and peppers. Um, but pop it in there with the peppers, give it a stir, and again, cook it down for about 10 minutes or so until everything's nicely softened. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous peppers, my friends. This is uh, truly chili pepper heaven right here. So uh, I've had them cook down for about 10 minutes or so, and they're starting to soften up nicely. So the next step is we're adding some garlic. I've got some fresh minced garlic right here. And I like a lot of garlic in mine. You can use as little or as much as you want. Um, so I'm cook it down for uh, just for about 30 seconds to a minute or so until you can smell that gorgeous garlic blooming. Mm, I love garlic. It is well known. All right, got this in here. Uh, next step is to add some red wine to deglaze the pan. And you can use broth if you want to. White wine is fine. Broth or even water is okay. I like the wine. It adds a, a little bit of flavor, extra flavor to it. Uh, a little bit more. Whoop. All right. You can hear that in there. Give it a stir, and then we'll cook that down for about three or four minutes to uh, let the wine reduce and the alcohol cooks off. 
And uh, make sure you scrape up the bottom of the pan. So if you have any brown bits that are kind of, uh, you know, like uh, cooked down in the bottom of the pan, that is a lot of flavor in those brown bits. It's, uh, it's going to make this sauce extra tasty. So, all right, I will be back in a couple minutes when this is ready to go. All right, the wine has reduced nicely. So next we will add some tomato. Um, fire roasted tomatoes are really great here, uh, but you can use diced tomatoes or fresh tomatoes or even tomato sauce is good. And uh, a lot of people make this recipe without tomato, so tomato is not totally necessary. Um, it's really optional for you. You can do it with just peppers and it's outstanding, but I like the addition of the tomato for extra flavor, it makes it a little more saucy. Um, and then we've got some seasoning. So this is an Italian recipe. So we're using basil, some dried basil here, and some dried oregano. Here we go. Get this stirred in. And of course, if you want a little extra spicy, kind of like I tend to like, we have some red chili flake. And you can adjust the seasonings really to your preference. So if you want to add other seasonings that you love, other fresh herbs or dried herbs, um, extra garlic you can do, um, you know, ch uh, chili powders, maybe some cayenne if you want some heat. Um, and of course, do not forget salt and pepper to taste. Maybe a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Patty's going to tell me to put more salt in, but she can do that herself. So get it stirred up here. Oh, look at that. Mm, smells good in here. And the last step. Uh, go ahead and take your sausages and just tuck them into your peppers, your saucy peppers. Get them in there. Pop those straight in. And uh, kind of get them, give them covered up a little bit. And here we go. Set aside. All right, look at that. Looks good, huh? Mm, smelling good in here. So I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit. And go ahead and cover your sausage and peppers. And we'll cook them down, let them simmer for about 15, 20 minutes or so to let the sausages cook through. Everything's gonna break down. It's going to uh, uh, meld all those flavors and uh, the peppers will soften up nicely to just one beautiful dish. And uh, this is outstanding, I love this stuff. Uh, sausage and peppers is a recipe that I grew up with. Uh, it's really big in the Chicago area. I grew up near Chicago, um, very Italian, but you'll really find it all over the US. It's a very American recipe. It's, it's just super delicious. It's really easy to make and uh, it's great for dinners. Pop it on a sandwich. It's just uh, delicious. Mm. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and it's smelling amazing in here and I'm ready to eat. I'm very hungry. So go ahead and lift off the lid there and boom. It smells so good in here. Uh, super easy recipe, isn't it guys? Uh, it's literally everything in one pan, a one pan recipe. You gotta love those. Um, so that's it. This is uh, sausage and peppers. Very easy to make. Uh, very easy to customize with your own different seasonings, even different sausage if you want. Add some spicy peppers. Uh, this recipe is outstanding. It's great for dinners, great for lunch. Um, but that's how you make sausage and peppers. Uh, you can serve it up different ways. You can uh, uh, serve it like by itself, just put it onto a plate, cut up the sausage. Um, it's actually great as a pasta if you add some, uh, some cooked penny noodles. Just, I just love that, it's super delicious to me. Um, but my favorite way really is to serve it up uh, as a sandwich. And I'm gonna make myself a sandwich right after this and enjoy myself some lunch. So, uh, all right, that's it guys. Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. I hope you love the recipe. If you do, please let me know, I'd love to hear it. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. All right, thanks, bye. Mm -hmm.